Journey to Immortality, Accessing the Secret Room Where Every Wrong is Made Right, by Tony Francis. It doesn't exist. There are places where you will look for certain things and never find them, like viruses and bacteria in an ICU, for example. Heaven is a place where only good things exist. You won't find sickness, poverty, sadness, depression, lack, death, or loss in heaven. Have I piqued your interest in going to heaven? You will go there if you have accepted the redemption of Yeshua in your heart and believed in his name. Matthew 6 gives us a glimpse of heaven, a very exciting place where there are no headaches, robberies, thefts, drainage issues, insecurity, or danger. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. On earth, moths and vermin will destroy your treasures, and there are thieves who will break in to kill, steal, and destroy. Your health, joy, provision, peace of mind, and security are your treasures. In heaven, all these are secured and more. But what is heaven? Where is heaven? When is heaven? Yes, I believe there is an abode, a realm where heaven exists, but heaven is the realm of God's abode, where he rules and reigns. It is because of his presence and reign that it is heaven. I always tell others, hell is hell, not because the devil is there, but because Jesus is not there. Jesus makes heaven. He is our heaven. Isn't it strange and mysteriously weird that God provides this kind of place for the citizens of heaven, yet he doesn't provide it for us here on earth as born-again believers? In fact, no. God is the same God for everyone who believes in him through Christ Jesus. It is not from his side, but from ours, that we are not living and matching to this abundant life, the Zoe life of God. Jesus reveals to us in Mark 11 the key to living heaven on earth, even while you are still breathing in this messed up world. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. If you are not a house of prayer, you are a den of thieves. You are putting yourself in a vulnerable place that doesn't resemble heaven. You blame God for your health, provision, joy, etc. But God provided another aspect of heaven for us through the righteousness of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who lives in you by the Holy Spirit. Righteousness means it is made right. It is your secret room where you will look for certain things and never find them. You won't find sickness in the righteousness of God. It doesn't exist. You won't find worry in the righteousness of God. It doesn't exist. You name it. For our sake, he made him who knew no sin to be sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians 5, 21 You are the righteousness of God here on earth. What do you do when a war breaks out in your city? You run to the shelter. God's righteousness is your hidden shelter, your secret room that lives inside your spirit man. Nor will people say, look, here it is, or there it is, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, verse 21 Whatever comes against you that is not righteous, because it will come, or may come, drag it to the secret room of righteousness with you, where it annihilates. In there, unrighteousness doesn't exist, can't stand. And remember, the devil was thrown out of heaven, and it is a place of no access for him anymore. In the same way, consider yourselves to be dead to sin and alive to God with Christ Jesus. Romans 6.11 Sin is not dead in this world, but you are dead to it in Christ Jesus. If you believe this truth, consider it and enforce it. I've never liked cigarettes. Thus, the feeling or experience of addiction to cigarettes is not alive to me. I don't know what it feels like. I consider sin, what I've gone through, or what may come my way as the same because of what Jesus purchased for me. Hallelujah, I am dead to lust, fornication, pride, perversion, poverty, sadness, sickness, fear, etc., Journey to Immortality by accessing the secret room where every wrong is made right. God bless you. Tony Francis Let me know in the comments below your opinion about this post.